Oh god, it's everywhere. Death and I? destruction. Where, where where am I? I definitely Damn forgot where I was. Okay. I I was I just started shooting aimlessly. So uh, hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, this is what happens when you pause and uh Take like a five minute break and come back and immediately forget <laughs> everything that happened. I have no idea what's going on. So, uh, in between recording, I was talking to Tony. Wait, I have an idea. What? Go back. Turn around. Eh? Eh? Ha! Ha! Kush! Kush! Ha! I just really <laughs> wanted to destroy that meteor with our. our uh, you mean asteroid? Asteroid, meteor. <laughs> uh, I believe the difference is that meteors have uh, flaming tails. I think it's it's based off of what they're they're composed of, right? Um, Isn't it? One's basically a ball of of ice. Oh, maybe that is it. I'm not totally sure. I I, I think I was taught that it had something to do with uh, one breaching the atmosphere of the planet, and double the, bunnies. The other just like orbits. Um, but you know, I'm no astrologist, so I have no clue. I just want you to know, every time I hear these bunnies, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is, You're in a monster's belly! <laughs> I mean, I realize that they're not <laughs> bears, but it's close enough. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're, they're pretty cute too, so it, it works. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, almost you, got it. You, you, you failed. I do what I can, mans, but I'm not the best. I'll be I'll be You're free. not a can, man. <laughs> I, don't, I ain't I don't, your buddy I guy. I ain't your buddy guy. So, uh, as I was trying to say... Before you so rudely cut me off. Ooh, nice. Good job I almost I missing. Sun? I almost. So oh, should I use the sun? What is it? It's yellow? What is yellow? Laser? Uh, laser. Um, do it on any of the guns, really. I've been using it on the right side gun quite a bit. In fact, oh, he's, he's dead. But you can use it to break them Boom. out. Bam. Ah. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, Crazy ooh. stuff. So I was talking to Tony in between recording sessions, and... Uh, we're trying to, he's, uh, we've mentioned this in some of our other videos, but he's trying to get a show started on our network, um, the Affinity Network. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which I'm super, super excited about. It's going to be a, a show about nerd stuff. Um, I don't want to reveal too much about it, but, you know, like comic books and stuff. And uh, so I had him over here the other day, so we we're going to prototype a couple of episodes to get him familiar with it, because I told him straight up, I'm not going to edit his his content, because I'm already editing both Game Devs Play Games and uh, Arcane Duel, so i, I got to teach him how to do this stuff so he can get good and, you know, make his stuff look pretty. That's not fair, Chris. Hey, man, I will uh, happily teach you how to uh, uh, edit. No, no, I mean, you should edit his stuff. I, don't get me wrong, I would actually love to, but we need to make money before I can do that. Uh, oh. Because otherwise I'll be broke. Um, but either way, oh, I think you're a little far from the microphone, by the way, bud. Oh, am I? Oh. No! Um, All right, you need to get on the goddamn shield, because we keep getting hit. Because there's nothing I, can, I can't fly through all of them. Is, see, look at that. <laughs> look what you made me do. But anyway, I'm excited about Tony because I, I went through the first session or training session with him to show him how the editing is done. And of course, he was like, oh, wait, no, 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 let's no, not no, go no, there. No, 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 I didn't want to do that. I didn't. I, I was just going in a direction. OK. Um, and so we I, I finished a training session with him. And of course, he was like, oh, God, this is so much to remember. And I, I was like, it's OK, buddy. Watch this tutorial. And we're going to uh, I want you to record something without me there. Um, so that you can get a feel for doing it without me and I want you to edit it and come back in a week or two and we'll review it and figure out kind of like what what worked what didn't work and, and kind of discuss where to go from there and uh, he sent me a picture with nothing other than text and a photo of a uh, download screen and his text was and so which begins dot 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 <laughs> and it was him installing Premiere Pro so I'm I'm super excited because I don't have to micromanage Tony. He'll actually do this. Good. I'm glad. Unlike some lazy sacks, boom. Yeah. Boom. Wait. Aw, I'm that lazy sack. Um, We've talked boom. about doing more content for Arcane Duels, too, and, uh... You know what? I've, Let's I've, just get a little bit. I don't think we need all of this. I think we need at least two groups. Two clusters, if you will. Our plan... That's good enough. But we talked about doing more content for Arcane Duels, and I basically gave you the, uh... Uh, what would you call it? The ultimatum of... I don't know if ultimatum is the right word, but basically, if you learn how to edit... Compromise, maybe? Yeah, compromise. It's a good term for it. Um, but basically, if you learn how to edit and do some game devs play games editing, I will do more Arcane Duels editing, because 
I'm already You'll spending have the time to do it. Huh? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I'm already spending about 40 yeah. hours a week yeah, working get on there. get up there. Various get up affinity there. archetypes. What are you stuff. doing? What the hell are you doing, guy? Who? That me? I'm controlling. Oh, I thought you were Jesus. trying to be like, I'm sorry, buddy. I was trying to use the shield to prevent the fire from killing us more than the one bullet. I didn't mean anything by it. Oh my god. Uh, uh, blah. And that's how most lover lovers' quarrels happen. <laughs> Slight <laughs> misunderstandings. <laughs> oh my god. He just like, he just kept sliding up and down, up and down the ladder. That is just one. Having a fucking field day, not doing anything important. I, I, that is single handedly what gets me killed more than anything else in this game is just like, I keep getting goofed up on the ladders and I just can't seem you know, and to get off of them. It's a little ironic actually because as far as things go, the controls are very smooth when it comes to, um, when it comes to shooting and maneuvering that way. I agree. I think the only true control I have issues with is the shield sometimes is very unintuitive to use because it, it it rotates with the joystick, um, so it goes to 360 degrees, um, but sometimes it just doesn't seem like it wants to do where what you want it to, um, and I qu haven't quite figured it out yet. And maybe it's because I keep pushing left or right in the hopes that it'll just keep rotating in that direction? You know, actually, um, once you figure out why it works the way it does, it's actually- oh my. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to probably plow it there. Oh yes. Asteroid fields have been my- my number one bane actually, in this game. Actually, uh, right now. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh. <sighs> Asteroids also deal the most damage to you. Oh, great. I mean, it's a giant molten rock, so, I mean, it's kind of expected, I suppose. Yeah, let's get let's get out of here. Ah, okay, so the way to look at it is, um, it's all based off of uh, the. Yeah, we're gonna get it. Okay, it's all based off of um, the the Ooh. Ooh. Mo or the direction that you want uh, the shield to go in. So it, it's it, if you press left and just hold left, it'll eventually the shield will lock in place of uh, whatever's left. Oh. Um, so like, if you, I mean, what I mean is if you're holding left, uh, then that that shield will, will go all the way left, and then it will stay left, even if you're holding left. So it doesn't continuously rotate like some games do with their controls. Yeah, so, so it basically functions by sticking to the, the 360 motion of the actual joystick. Absolutely, yes. Um, and that, that's... I think that's a little, uh, I don't know if that's how the rest, well, no, maybe that is how the rest of the, the turrets work, now that I think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I should probably move this, huh? Oh, uh, yep, no, that is how the rest of them work, but you don't realize it all the time, because since they only move, like, 140 degrees, um, you can just, like, hold left or right until it gets to the position you want and then stop. Um, so that's, I think that's the only reason why it can feel unintuitive at times. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. we rescued all the bunnies, by the way. So let's, let's get out of here. Ow, skip the fucking. Who put that there? <laughs> <laughs> ah, stop it! Ah, stop! Ah, stop! Talking about a level design ah, for oh no, uh, oh no! Ah, <laughs> barely nice. tapped it. Talking about get level design for a quick second too. Um, com the first level compared to the tutorial level. I think is actually really interesting because the tutorial starts us off in a really confined space, um, which arguably trains us to be better pilots right off the bat. Yeah, no, that's true. It um, has a it has a tutorial without actually having to to really tell you how to move around. Actually, that's right. It doesn't tell you how to do anything except it, for press A to jump. That's it. Yeah, I mean, they kind of. I think the the science. A uh, space bunny will occasionally be like, "Hey, you need to hit these buttons to uh, advance to the next stage, or to you know get out of here." Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it, it pretty much leaves most of the controls up for you to discover. Like it tells I would you say it tells X. you what to do, but it doesn't tell you how to do most of the time. Yes, and I, I like it. It's very um, unobtrusive. All right, so we got another beam gem. I I'm thinking I'll put this on the left, or yeah, the left. So that way, that way we sides have are beam gems, and yeah. then, and then uh, you know we should try to get a metal one at oh, the top. Oh yeah, and you've got a power gem down here, which is pretty awesome. So what happens if you put the power gem on the shield? It basically gives you a giant, uh, like normal shield. <sighs> we suck at this. With the power of love, I transport you. Oh god, this guy. 
Alright, this is my first time playing on this. Oh, uh, boy. Well, we already have three bunnies off to the left and two question mark boxes. Nice. So then that decides that. But you know what? Uh, perhaps we should have just stopped there because it's about time. Aw, oh, dang. Yeah, Doomsday sorry, finish. You... Bow. Get that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what the title of this episode is going to be. <laughs> Bam, Doomsday finish. I love it. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys in the archives. Thank you for watching. See ya. In the Lovin' Archives. In the Lovin' Archives! The Affinity Archives? I don't know. Affinity Love? I mean, that's what I have for you. Ah. Uh, Can I touch your nipples now? Yes. Yes! I was wondering when you'd ask.